Hi, welcome to another video about impromptu speaking. Um, so, so far in our video series, we've covered what impromptu is. We've gone over some topics and how you might go about interpreting those topics. And then finally, uh, we went over uh, the basic structure of your speech, your introduction, your body paragraphs, and your conclusion. And today we're going to go into some more depth about how to uh, write each part and what each part means. And we're going to start with the introduction. So the introduction, um, if you remember, has three main parts. Okay. So the first part was the attention getter. Second part um, is your thesis or main idea. And the th final part, the third part is either the preview or it's referred to as the outline. Okay, so let's go into some more detail about each of these. Uh, first, the attention getter. Uh, the attention getter is uh, typically a story um, from either your life or a story that you know vividly um, that you can describe uh, for the listener. Uh, sometimes people use uh, statistics, although that's less common in impromptu because uh, typically people don't have statistics ready, memorized, and prepared to go. Um, although, at, however, people typically have some stories that they can tell. Um, and so I suggest um, that you choose a story that is personal and relevant to the topic. Okay. Um, if you know an anecdote about someone else, story about someone else, or an important event, uh, feel free to use that as well. Uh, but the priority here is finding something that's relevant that will get the audience's attention. That is the most important thing. So however you want to do that is up to you, but um, it should be short should be no more than 20 seconds long, typically. 20 to 30 seconds. Well, let's say 20 seconds. Um, because um, this is just to get their attention. This is not the main part of the speech. The main part of the speech is what you'll talk about here below, the thesis and remain idea. So the two parts of the thesis or main idea, you'll say, uh, when I received the topic, patient, word, whatever it might be, I took this or I interpreted this to mean however you want to say it. Um, but there's essentially two parts here, two parts of this. Uh, part number one reading quotation topic word and telling us, the audience, what it means. Okay. Uh, you need both parts. Um, you need to connect whatever the topic is to your own idea. And the interpretation should be simple and clear. You want to be able to repeat it later in your speech. So if you go into some, some long explanation, like for example, when I received Abraham Lincoln, I thought about how leadership manifests in a specific historical context when a person faces trials and they must go through those trials and discover who they are. Um, that's too long. That is too complicated. Um, that is a sentence that you won't be able to repeat word for word because you'll likely forget it. It needs to be simple and clear. For example, Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln rep represents um, someone who, in spite of their situation, fought for freedom. Okay, um, you got to keep it simple and clear because you're going to repeat it later on in your speech. You need to be able to come back to that topic, uh, back to that thesis, I mean, um, and be able to repeat it. All right. Final part is the preview and outline. Um, and basically, this is you saying what you're about to talk about in the speech. So today, um, I will illustrate this idea through three, two slash three 
main points. First, some people say second, some people say secondarily. Honestly, the, the grammar really doesn't matter. And third, okay. So, again, this should be brief. 15 seconds to 20 seconds at the most. I don't want your introduction going more than a minute. Um, I would prefer it to be about 45 seconds, okay? Um, because you can say your thesis or main idea in about 10 seconds. Okay, so 30, 45. That's the goal. Um, I understand when we're speaking impromptu that it's not always going to be the case that we can finish in that amount of time, but I think you can. And if you do, you're saving yourself for later parts of your speech, which are going to require lots of explanation. Okay, uh, so this is the introduction to your impromptu speech. Um, please take the quiz below to see if you've understood everything we've gone over in this video. And then you can move on to the next video, which is going over the body paragraphs of an impromptu speech.